perfume and hawking mm-hmm. makeup, yeah. but are all, say at Bobby Brown, are all the women or men who are, um, I don't know what at you the call counters, them, the sales, artists, the artists yeah. are they trained like you so that they yes. could say you have green or you have, green. I mean, how, what's the depth of their training? So how are we to believe them? You know, not just mm-hmm. in Bobby Brown, and how but how qualified right. are they? Yeah. You know, well, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a whole the career, you know, people come to a makeup counter and work at a makeup counter, all many different avenues. Um, for instance, myself, I never went to makeup school. Mm-hmm. I was never officially trained until I became into the world of Bobby. Then I, she officially trained me. Um, but the, everybody you would meet at any department store counter would have been trained very well by that brand. Mm-hmm. Because that's It's just where, interesting to me because I've gone to, you know, in my 20s, yeah. <laughs> I went through several um, brands of makeup and yeah. I would go to that counter and they would recommend these, you know, X products and then I'd go a year later someone else and they would contradict now maybe my skin okay. had changed the color, the, the color or the color or depending on the right? line mm-hmm. it was just I so that's guess. why my question but, is like oh wait a minute or let me ask a famous question or is that just a sales tactic i don't know you no know? no you know? because they want you to look good. each right. brand right. Right. wants right. you to come back so when right. i worked at counter right. i would try my best to make right. you happy so you right. come back right. and see me that's but it was just interesting that someone would say you should never wear this color lipstick and the next place you would go be like i really love you that you color and color lipstick. And yeah. that's all different philosophies of yeah. different artists who right. run different brands. Mm-hmm. So what is it that we should have in our makeup bag, yes. basically? What kinds of things? Every woman could have a bronzer or blush, mm-hmm. a fresh colored lipstick, whether or not it's a burnt orange or a bright pink, wow. and a good mm-hmm. mascara. Mm-hmm. Lipstick or gloss? I could do that. Some women like gloss. I it just depends like on what Secrets you like. Gloss. They're kind of cute and they're and they flavored. Good, they're flavored. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're right. But you know, yeah. lipstick also can go toxic. I had a very, the what first, well, when it's too old. Oh, yeah. You want makeup. Let me just say makeup. I had yeah. some bad mascara. Bad. And I was at yes. Disney oh, yeah. World yeah. and I put this mascara on and I had one raging eye infection. First time ever. So mm. what would you say in terms of when it's time to throw oh, that makeup know. out? That's a good because, question. Because you know they're like they're like petri dishes in some instances. Right. You know, yeah. right? Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. It's two years is sort two of, years mm-hmm. for mascara. No, no, no. <laughs> two years, two years for a, a lipstick. Okay. Two years for a shadow, a okay. powder, a bronzer. Eighteen mm-hmm. months to two years. And the big, it's like a sniff test. You know, if you smell, if it smells, no, don't put it on your face. But even powdered eyeshadow. Yeah, I two years. Had, more than two years. And what happens Me though too. is the product actually probably stops working as well. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Right. So it won't mm-hmm. pay off the pigment. Mm-hmm. You, want, you also want uh, to clean your brushes too. Right. Yeah. Right. Think about how you're applying it. Right. If you're using a, a foundation same. that you're putting your hand into, that's more likely to get contaminated than something that you squeeze out yeah. that right. stays clean. But now mm-hmm. I've noticed that eyebrows are really, really important. But the older you get, the thinner they get. Yep. <laughs> what do you do? And eyelashes. I mean, those are good things to have. So what would you suggest that we do about around eyebrows? Definitely and, eyebrows. You want to use a powder. Mm-hmm. Um, because a lot of pencils, or if you can find, can make it, it hard. Pencils can make it look like a hard line. Yeah, drawn right? on. Okay. You want right. it to look natural, so you can actually find in the market pencils that look like a powder when they go on. Really, uh, Bobby has those kinds. She of, does. Okay, all right. Yeah, her all brow right. pencil turns into a powder. Okay. Or you can actually just use a brow brush mm-hmm. with. You want to choose the color that matches the color of your hair mm-hmm. or the root of your hair, depending if you want to go darker. If you say highlight. But if a lot of women, if they put a warmer wash there, you want to make sure that that color matches. Now, it's, it's about that time. You know, what? eyes. Eyes are the thing. So 